Stay tuned for the latest Wisdom of Solomon, another gem from King Solomon's Mind, brought to you by the Fuel Mule. Save 10% on your fuel consumption. Give me right or do me wrong. Huh. Want to talk? So let's talk. Give me right or do me wrong. That's the most important, perhaps, concept in America today, and it's not happening. But listen to this. Do you watch soaps? I don't. Do I follow the people involved? No, I don't. But I, I heard a story that one of the characters who's been there for 14 years on One Life to Live was fired summarily because her character and her real life marry in that she's a very religious Catholic woman an older woman, and they wanted her to become extremely gay friendly. And she said, that's not me and it's not the character. Is there a way we can compromise? And they just fired her, just threw her off the set. Now let me turn this around. And by the way, this lady's name is uh, Mosseri, Patricia Mosseri. If there had been a person whose character was whatever the character was, and they want that character to be very bigoted, very homophobic, very anti-gay. And they said, wait a minute, that's, that's not my character, and I don't feel comfortable doing that. Do you think they could fire that person? Of course not. It's the double standard that's frustrating. This, of course, is ABC. I don't watch ABC. You know, they're on the left. I don't watch CBS or NBC either. I don't watch CNN. I watch Fox. What can we do? Call the sponsors on One Life to Live and let them know that you don't think this is right. Don't threaten. Don't be like them. Just let them know. If enough of you do it, it might make a difference. Now listen to this. In, this, in, in Phoenix, Arizona, their council, liberal council, passed a new law. Are you ready for this? The law says we don't want noise. And we're going to make an exception for ice cream trucks, but not for churches. So now a pastor has been sentenced to jail because he rang the church bells. And they're saying you can't do that anymore. Now, it's no louder than what the ice cream truck would be. They've been doing it for decades. And yet now you can go to jail as a pastor for ringing the church bells, but the same amount of noise if it's made by a, a, a lawnmower or, or, or an ice cream truck it's okay. Can you imagine? I don't live in Phoenix. If I did, the people that pass this law would be in fear for their political future, and maybe more. If you live in Phoenix, let them know, won't you? Give me right or do me wrong.